please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. Last time I checked, I'm still Kiana. And I'm definitely still Allie, and today is Thursday, May 11th. To start out with today's announcements, let's get into all the events we have going on today. There is Boys Varsity Golf at Arcadia and Ettrick, and tennis is at Cotter in Winona. There's also a varsity baseball game at home, and JV and varsity softball is at Luther. Go out and support your classmates. Hey Allie, is your schedule all ready for next year? Mine is, but fellow seniors, if yours isn't, make sure you make an appointment with the Guidance Counseling Office to fill any empty spots you may have as soon as possible. But let's talk about your classes right now. How are your grades? Are you making sure to turn in your assignments on time? Grades will be posted this Saturday at midnight, so make sure you are keeping up and getting your work done. Let's finish strong, Tigers. FFA members, you have an award banquet tomorrow. Members, please help set up for the banquet after school Friday if you are able. There is an internship opportunity. The Eugene C. Savage Memorial Horticulture inter Internship applications are due to Mr. Markhart by Monday, May 15th. Applications and information are on the bulletin board outside the Ag Room. Next, we have a video for you produced by Memphis Cleveland and Sunny Ruffholm. Roll the tape. I enlisted in March to the Wisconsin National Guard. I joined the Army back in October. I'm leaving in July to go to Fort Leonard Wood. Caitlin Smart and Jacob Sweeney are among the many students that are enlisting into the military. Support from their parents is beneficial in their decision. They're pretty supportive throughout the whole process, I guess, but they're also really nervous. Kind of just normal parents. It didn't really affect my decision, because I was going to make it either way if I had their support or not, so it didn't really bother me that much. My parents are really supportive, because most of my family was in the military, or still is in the military, so they're all for it. And I mean, they're a little scared and like nervous, but I think they're behind me with the decision. It just feels really good. I'm not worried about her going off to serve, so you know, nothing to be worried about. Enlisting in the military can be a hard decision to make. Caitlin and Jacob shared why they made this commitment. Just high school ending so fast, and I don't really know what I want to do with the rest of my life, so I've always kind of thought about enlisting and joining the military and serving our country. Just the time was now. I think my dad pushed me more because he's in the military. He always talks about it and I always hear about it because he's been in it forever. And just like talking to my recruiter, it just gave me more insight on it. Completely excited. It was a decision that she made all on her own. I didn't have any influence in it, but I totally support it. Being in the military can have a huge impact on a person's life. When asked if they had any doubts, here's what they had to say. Not really. I don't really know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm really excited, but at the same time also like extremely nervous and scared, but I've never really doubted my decision. I just like don't want to watch people get hurt. Like watching someone get shot would just suck. I've been told war isn't a very fun thing to experience. If I do get sent overseas, that, that'll probably change me for a while, but other than that, it, I, I know what I signed up for and knew all the risks involved before I signed up. And it was just a risk I'm willing to take. Justin Brown is the father of Caitlin Smart and has served in the military for 11 years and is still serving. He had some encouraging words to say to the students who are considering the military. I think it's good for a lot of kids. Um, it really gives them opportunity to learn. A lot of life experience comes with it. Training, um, you can apply to you know, life. It's not just military. It's an excellent way to pay for college and it's an experience that you know, no one can ever take away from you. Now, we'd like to wish Jose Luis Ramirez a happy birthday today. Hope you have a great day. And last, but certainly not least, lunch. Today on the menu is chicken drumsticks. Ooh, have a great day, Tigers. Bye, guys. One last thing, Lizzie Pardo wants me to let the swim team members know that there's a meeting in the Commons tomorrow. All right.